Hey guys, welcome back to Depression Simulator Part 2. I'm just kidding. Welcome back to <laughs> Heavy Rain. I wasn't even sure that I was going to play this game again. Like, I felt a level of depression that I did not know was even possible. Like, it's just a very sad game. Maybe it hits me differently because I'm a parent. But just trying to even remotely feel what this man feels. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I just can't even put it into words. But the other side of me kind of wants to find out what happens next in this story. And that is why we are here again. This is an episode that I had to think twice before continuing the story. So I, I just hope you guys are on board. And, and if you'd like to see more, just, uh, I, I hate to beg, but I'm gonna have to see some support as far as likes. Cause I really don't wanna get all emotional and depressed if nobody's even gonna suffer with me, okay? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just kidding, okay? Thank you for being here. Truly, that's all that matters. I'm not sure why we're here exactly. I want to say maybe it's just to spend time with Sean. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, this is literally the first time we ever see some sort of agreement between both Sean and ourselves. As most of you know, we lost a child. And, um... It's been very depressing. <laughs> Come on, Dad, make me fly. We're trying to bond with our son here and trying to just get over the hump of uh, what happened two years ago. I believe it was two years ago. We've been divorced now from our wife. Life sucks. It's it's been raining every day. It's <laughs> it's terrible. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen him smile. Guys, when you have kids, man, I'm telling you, I know some of you probably do for sure. For those of you that don't, and you're probably considering it, it'll be the most amazing thing you'll ever do in your life. The most amazing thing you'll ever have in your life. It'll change you individually. It, it will change you. And for those of you that are unsure, I recommend it not rushed i recommend it like it is the most amazing beautiful thing ever i promise you take my word for it please okay also i gotta be careful with sean i don't want to lose this kid too okay because apparently merry-go-round apparently what about that merry-go-round i bet i can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it great my son thinks sean thinks that we're not responsible for what happened to jason but i personally on an individual personal level I feel like we are. We're, we were just shitty caretakers, to be completely honest. Oh, okay, hold on. All right, Sean, hold on for your panties. Actually, you don't have panties. But, you know, oh, wait. Okay, he looks bored because that was actually really shitty. He doesn't look excited at all. Okay, hold on. Give me. <laughs> He's like, what was that, Dad? You're trash. Go on, Dad. As you can. I'm so happy seeing him call him call him dad and just having a smile. Faster. Faster. I know they probably feel Come guilt. Faster, faster. Like when you lose someone, you feel guilty when you're trying to be happy. So like you can't be happy because you don't feel right. You feel like it's wrong to be happy. <laughs> and that's definitely what they've been feeling this entire time. I, I felt that. I felt that before. <laughs> so this is pretty much the first time that we we get to see something joyful out of this. Whoa. That was a little weird that Jason has good training for astronauts though. <laughs> some sort of like condition. He blacks out. Teleports somewhere, doesn't know how he got there. It was a little bit weird, I must say. Okay, let's see. Let me see if he wants a little what is this, a little ice cream, a little popsicle, or juice, some candies? I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. Oh. Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Uh, okay. Um, well, that turned around. 
exponentially fast. I think he wants to leave now because I bought him strawberry chews. How about the, the... Okay, how about this? Look, swing set. Come on. Come on, Sean. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. See? That's all it takes, man. All right, get on the swing. There we go. Some father-son bonding time. Oh, I gotta hold it. Ooh. Release. Come on, Dad. Higher. Oh man, when they start putting that music in the background, I was like a kick in the balls, man. I know it's impossible, but, and this might sound kind of corny or cliche, but whatever, call it what you call it. When you, when you experience moments like these, it's like, you kind of wish that there was no bad people in the world, you know? Like, imagine if everyone was just nice. Just imagine that for one second, like, legitimately, how would life be if everyone was nice? And everyone just had a good time. That'll never happen, but... Okay, so, uh, Sean, we can either leave or we can go back to the bench. You know what? I'm going to be a good dad, and I'm going to see if I can find something else for you, okay? Just don't piss me off. How about, uh... Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold up. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Actually, I don't think we have anything else. See, this right here, leaving your son by himself like that, like, this is something you don't do. Hey, you guys want to give me that basketball? No? Okay. Oh, well, there he is. Yeah. This park only had a seesaw, merry-go-round, or whatever the heck that was, swings, and then the yeah. Let me see actually if I can sit down. A boomerang. Oh, you know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Oh, so I didn't know we we're gonna be able to use. The okay, that's cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch him throw it and kill a bird. Or smack a kid in the back of the head. I've actually never thrown a boomerang before. Like, to a certain extent, I don't even know if they actually work. Does that shit really work? I've never actually even done it before. Uh oh. You did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on. Let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Oh, man. Now, throw it. Oh, he did it. Oh, snap, did he did it. it. I did it, Dad. <laughs> Good job, Sean. See, that wasn't so hard. I'm actually glad we did that and we didn't just leave. I'm really glad. Really, really glad. I don't know if I just said glad, glad, whatever, man. You know what? Let's get out of here. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. But how about the backpack? Are you? You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Shit. I'm not even part of the family, and I wish so too, man. Don't worry about it, little buddy. Things will get better. As unbelievable as that might sound, things will get better. So I guess the exit is this way? Or where are we going? I, I, Sean, are you supposed to follow me instead? What the hell are we doing? 
You wanna, you wanna, no? Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Bro, I don't like this. Like, why is it that he's always leaving him alone, like, so often? Like, what is wrong with you, dude? Like, hold his fucking hand. One, please. That's a dollar. You're in a park with, like, a bunch of strangers. You don't just leave your kid. I'm just overprotective, bro. Can I say? My son's gonna be like 15. I'm gonna have those one of those book bags when I take him to Disney World that has a leash on it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit over the top, but you know what I mean. Oh no, is he gonna have one of those things again? What's going on? No! Huh! What is wrong with this man? What about your son? Stop! 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 Great, now it's Sean. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. First, it was Jason. Now, it's Sean. Sean, where are you? See what I'm talking about? Sean! 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 Oh my god, this game's gonna give me a freaking heart attack. Go to that truck. Go to that truck. Has anybody seen Sean? For the love of freaking... Please tell me he went home. Stop! 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 <laughs> oh fuck, there's a note on the table. Maybe that was a drawing. Oh my god, dude, what happened to him? This is the most irresponsible. I mean, I guess it wasn't his fault. Maybe it's a medical con I don't know, man. Oh my f Oh Wait, are we going to jail? Oh, we're pro probably playing as a detective Oh, uh, yeah, we were supposed to meet this guy at his office. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, what the frick? Okay, we're just gonna watch some baseball or play some virtual baseball. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, this in VR would be sick. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? How dumb must that look? Okay, let me put that away. I don't need people laughing at me. You understand? Put that away. Put that baseball away, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. 
Let's go this way. Cross my legs. This game is very advanced for it being released in 2010. This this must have been crazy back in the days. I guess we just got to wait here. Possibly. Is there a way to stand up? Eh. Yep. Stand up. Okay. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. You just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. Oh my god. To be god. frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press. They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Did we really just come here to tie oh, this man's tie? Go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Wow. So we literally just tied this man's tie. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, boss. Okay, this is the comp. Is this the room he was telling us about? Can we walk this way? I don't think we can. All right. I think we were. What way is it that we were? We were all the way back there, was it? I know we were. We were sitting somewhere. I just don't remember which. Which area we came from. I want to say it was probably this way. So right here we have office. What do we have here? Interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's that lady right there. She's gonna show me to my office. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure, why not? Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Better be a big office. That's all I'm saying. If it's not, you guys are going to get it. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This? This is my office? <laughs> That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yo, this is depressing. This is like, look at the walls. It looks like a damn freaking prison. 
All right, let's see if we can take a seat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man, this is disrespectful, bro. Look at the cobweb cobwebs in the back. <laughs> I'd be extra mad. I guess that's a good idea. Right? Now I'll take a seat. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Pull out the glasses. Maybe we can spot something on the on the bulletin board or whatever the heck that is with these glasses. Step one. Change the office. I want to see how all these characters really tie into one another. That's what I'm really, really intrigued about. So we've got this. We've got that. I've got no idea what that is. Let's go with uh, this one. Oh, shit. What the fuck? All right. This is trippy. <laughs> this is tripping me out, man. Okay. Yeah, like what's the purpose of this? I don't I don't get it. Yeah, dude, you got some really cool glasses. Uh wanna do you, you wanna do your job? Maybe. This one's peaceful. Very peaceful. But kind of creepy. How about this one? In the desert. Ooh. I like that. Maybe like in a, a different planet or something. Okay, so clear all of them. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, so this is like where you were. Oh, <laughs> okay. Clues. All right, so here we go. The tire tracks. We want to analyze geoanalysis. Let's analyze. Tire tracks. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Interesting. No data for geo analysis. Okay, so we're looking for a Malibu. Any man that's got a Malibu is going to get it. All right, next up, we've got a... Oh, okay, this is good. The origami, right? No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. About geoanalysis, anything? Just one origami store in town. Hmm. I guess that's worth noting. Okay, the last and final one is going to be the orchid. Hmm, a common species. That doesn't help much. Okay, is there anything in the geoanalysis? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Yeah, so maybe that's not the brightest idea. Let's let's go back. Let's clear these out and let's take a look at our files. So this is crazy. Everything is like stored in this like cloud of Whatever these glasses possess, I don't know, that's crazy. The origami killer victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. Wow. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. That's exactly. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. Bro, that's fucking creepy, dude. Woo! That's exactly what's happening to Sean, isn't it? Uh uh uh. Always the same ritual an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. 
Dude. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. But why? Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Okay, so... I don't know if we have to analyze this. Let's see. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. That's fucking scary. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Dude, that's scary, bro. No data. Of course. Why would they be that? Why would I even try that? That's kind of dumb. All right. So let's see if we can analyze the other folder, the other file. Let's see what we have here. Pictures. Probably locations. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Oh, my God. All right. So we're going to back out. We're going to clear these out. Honey, this guy's been doing this for several years already, so it's not like uh, this is new to him. The Ari. Okay, did we miss anything? A map. Okay, I don't know if we missed anything. That's fucking cool, dude. Okay. Here we go again. I gotta go wash my face. Wait, what's happening? Why is it that everyone here has a fucking problem? What's going on? I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. That's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Oh! Oh, I thought it said take trip to the bathroom and it's actually take the fucking mi- Uh oh, that was probably not a good idea. It should just say take medicine or instead of saying- Oh my god, what's happening? I have a feeling that that was literally the worst choice that I could have chosen. What is he doing here? Is that is that our guy? <gasps> oh. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Man, fucking... 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Black coat. Dude, I don't remember. Um, uh, A black coat. And a pair of pants. What color were the pants? Be were they beige or brown? Beige pants. Beige. Beige? Were they How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Stayed carousel, can't remember, a little walk, stay on the bench. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? 
Panic, waited, searched. Oh, I, fuck! I don't know. I panicked. I pressed no A instead of A. I thought I was. All right. That's all the questions I had. Thought I had now. my. Uh... You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. I want to press X and I pressed A thinking how to PS4 Dude, controller. Do you think the origami killer? Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Wait. Wait. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child? Seriously, in the park? dude. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. It's not what I meant to say. I, I still want to know what actually happened between them two because it, it's not like it's I mean obviously they got separated due to what happened but how did it happen how did they separate who decided to separate with who and it doesn't look very affectionate when it comes to that scene there I like playing as this guy it's very good interesting evening. good evening to you sir Uh, what are we here for, boy? Because I don't know. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go aisle by aisle. Okay. It's a little suspicious. Broken bag of chips. You don't clean that up, sir. Staff only. Can we go in there? Ooh, hold on. I wonder if we should speak to this guy first before we go in there. Let's, let's go ahead and try and talk to this guy first. Can we? Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. The killer has kidnapped another victim, a 10-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. 
Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. In the back of the store, to the right. I don't know if we should open that... that uh... <clears throat> I don't know if we should open up that door, man. Asthma spray. Good evening, sir. Oh. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Don't fucking try anything. Yo, this guy has the most badass Open missions. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you going to open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. Oh. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ, goddamn idiot! Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. Yes. Fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this guy has the best missions. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, at least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? What the fuck is going on here? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. Maybe it will help you find the other little boy. What the fuck? Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. <laughs> he just left the guy there. <laughs> You're not gonna call the cops or anything, dude? Like. Oh, he is a cop, but you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> I just want a dead body in the liquor store, especially in the entrance. Okay, reminder. Press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. What is that for? Wednesday, 244. 1.56 inches of rain. This is the chick from the main screen, from like the title screen. This is the first time that we see her, I think. So who is she in all of this? What? Gonna lie, she kind of look good. <laughs> okay. Who is this chick, man? We've never. I don't. Have we seen her before? Whoa. Whoa! Look at that, boys. <laughs> Come on, let me turn that off just in case. You know, I don't need no more distractions. Gotta make sure. I like this little apartment. It's nice. It's like very modern-ish. 
I don't even know what to consider it, honestly. Very uh, New Yorkish. So is this to go to sleep? Uh, before we go to sleep, do we turn on the lamp? Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Don't look too, too hard now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's so many characters in this game and so many characters that you play with, which is kind of interesting. What is this? She seems to be some sort of model, possibly. Nah. 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 Fuck out of here. There's somebody here. There's somebody here, dude. Get a knife right now. Get a fucking knife. Get your ass a fucking knife. Something. Oh, you're gonna get smoked. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Open up the fridge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. You're gonna get smoked. Unless that was just a camera angle. Oh my god, I'm so scared. That must have just been a camera angle. Hmm. Okay. Just a camera angle. That's fine. Possibly. That was the weirdest fucking camera angle. Okay, how about this door? Oh, this is creepy. Oh boy. Oh, that is the coolest fucking sink I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's dope. It's like a, it's like a centerpiece. <laughs> I mean, not that it looks nice, but like the, the idea of it, that's cool. It's a really cool idea. Still don't feel too comfortable here. Can we pee? about that <clears throat> are you gonna wash your freaking hands pig and wa wash you know what never mind this is just a game we don't need to want we can be as nasty as we want oh yeah she's got to be some sort of model there's just no way okay can we shower mm, can we shower mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, dear lord. I do not want to get demonetized. We just took a shower. I'm not going to show that because that was a whole lot of shenanigans. Hey, what? What is up with these people like having these weird... Oh. Uh, what the fuck? Girl, you better grab a knife. You're fucking around. You better grab a knife right now.
You know, I think it's best if we just go to sleep already. Things are getting a little too crazy. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, hi, fucking motherfucker. Who is that? There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Girl, you better know some sort of karate or something. My lord, what the freaking, what is the purpose of this? Why, what? Okay, this is getting a little intense. Ooh, elbow that. Ooh. Shit. LB, LB, RB, LB, RB, LB, RB. There's two of them. What the fuck? Three. Oh, bite his fucking ear off. That's right. Oh my god, bro. These things are insane. Oh. What the fuck? I should have put colors in these things, man. It's hard. It's hard to see them. Get the TV and smack him across the head. Lock yourself in that fucking bathroom. Yeah, get, get something. Oh my god. No fuck. Oh dear. What the heck? Whoa. That was that was a little intense. That was a little bit intense. Wednesday, 7.31 a.m. 1.7 inches of rain. We got the entire neighborhood and news outlets and everything right outside my door. Oh, my God. Bro, right now, you need to be with your wife, your ex-wife, whether you hate each other, love each other, don't want to talk to each other. You need to be together. You need to solve this shit together, not separately. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Locker ticket. What? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Okay, it is 7.30, let's just say. I'm gonna go through the back door. Alright, we gotta head through that alleyway. Escape from these assholes. Okay. Got this, man. What was this guy's name again? Ethan? Something like that? 
this the one? Yeah, this is the one. I'm literally in my neighbor's front yard right now. My backyard. I'm sorry, guys. You know. But oh my goodness. Look at all the people there. Wait. Are we supposed to go? What? What? Somebody's gonna knock on that freaking window. How about the seatbelt? I trigger. <laughs> There's so many people there. Oh. Oh my god. I hope he doesn't have one of those uh, flash, uh, those blackouts. I'm sorry. It's not gonna be really ideal to have one of those right now. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Oh, that's what his problem is. Okay. But where do we have to go? I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Come on, dude. Just keep it together, man. Seriously. Huh? I pressed it. Okay. We got this. Wait, what the fuck? Do I have to hold it? Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, that's what I was doing. Now what? Frozen in time? There's some weird things happening in this game that has, have, have still not really been revealed. My God. Dad, where are you? Oh my God. No, don't do this. Jason. Dad. Jason. <laughs> Dad. Oh no. Jason. Dad. Oh, come on, dude. Don't do this. Jason. This guy's gonna go crazy, bro. Jason! Dad! Jason! Do I gotta do this without knocking out as least as many people as possible? Dad! Everybody get out the way! Jason! 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 <laughs> I find that so hilarious. Dad. Yo, this dude has problems. Seriously, I don't know what's going on, but he's got issues. That's so sad. Like... He doesn't even know what's going on himself. Anyways, we're here in the lock lockers <clears throat> storage. I think that's what it said. Line 18, box number three. Line 18, box number three. 
Line 18, box number 3. 18, 18, box number 3. Okay, all the way this way, all the way at the back. Got it. Box number 3. Here we go. What's behind the locker, you say? Uh huh. The world will never know. Oh, it's the same shoebox as the other guy. What? It's like this guy is playing games with these people, right? He wants to get caught, but obviously you got to solve his riddle, if you will. Or at least that's what it seems like at the moment. That's the same thing that that other guy at the gas station had. He was given the same thing, a shoebox with some sort of origami. Rent a hotel now? Okay. I brought your wife along, man. Let's check this out. So what do we got here? Make sure there's nobody spying on us. Okay, I think we're A-OK. -okay. I wonder why we rent. Oh, probably because of the news people and everybody outside the house. I'm gonna turn on the TV. A little bit of a distraction. According Very to much sources, needed. A child disappeared from the Stanton district oh. yesterday evening. He was last seen playing in the park with his father. Full details are unknown, but following the disappearance of Jeremy Bowles, there is suspicion that this again may be the work of the origami killer. If confirmed, it will bring the number of victims to nine. It's so sad, bro. The fact that there's people out there that do that, man. People that actually take other people and kids, like. So shameful. So sad. <sighs> Man, I just wish it wasn't like that, you know? Alright, so what do we do here if we sit down? Open the box? Uh, do I want to... Hold on, hold on. I don't want to open up the... Ups. <laughs> Let's uh, take this step out of time here, Junior. Don't need to take a piss. What's in there? Got some meds. Pill popping animal. Best believe I need to take some pills before doing this shit. Traumatized, man. What this closet? Can we open this? Dude, that would have been the perfect spot for a jump scare. Totally unexpected. Fucking scary. What the fuck? Wait, why did, why did the guy that gave us the same box over there at the gas station? He only had the little green origami. This guy has a gun, multiple origamis with different numbers, labeled memory cards. What? Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. Lot 4988, Lexington. Oh my God. Dude, this is wild. Fuck. Why are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Oh, what the fuck is going on here, man? Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. 
What the fuck is happening here, man? Oh my god. Oh no. This is getting crazy right now. What the hell? Things are starting to pick up. A lot of you told me. Killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Fuck him. It's very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Bruh. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Go for him. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. Oh, shit. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? We've got about five inches left. If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Bro, this is getting a little bit too intense. A little too crazy, man. So here we are, about to interrogate some brand new suspects. We're looking for them. We're looking for answers. It's going down. A lot of you told me it was a slow start, but it got faster and crazier. So here we are. Guys, I think we're going to continue this on the next episode. I I, I want to know what happens next, but no we've answer. been recording. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home.
There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Okay. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Yeah, this is all sorts of crazy. My partner is crazy. This house is crazy. The suspect may be even crazier. We're going to end it here. I think this is a perfect spot. We've been recording for a decent amount of time now. So if you guys would like to see more Heavy Rain here on the channel, just drop me a like. And uh, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though that might be hard to do, but you know what I mean. Catch you later.